Hey, bus buddies, I hope you're all having a, well, I hope you all had a fantastic week. It's Friday, so it's definitely one of the better days of the week. Now, yesterday I had a full wearing of Egypt by A Bob, so I'm gonna be back in just a second with my full review. Hey, bus buddies, welcome back. Now, as I said a couple of days ago, well, yesterday, in fact, I had a full wearing of Egypt by A and Bob. Now, not just the name, but the scent of this actually reminded me a little bit of Towers um, Le, Le Air Desert Moroccan. Um, like I say, it's not just it's not just because of the name of it. It's not just because it's a, a, a desert um, country, but Egypt is definitely one of those ones that does remind me of. I mean, the first thing that I'm reminded of really is. Although it's a little bit fresher and it's not quite as, it doesn't quite sort of capture the desert as much as um, Lair Desert Moroccan, um, but it does have that sort of vacation smell about it. I mean, it's, this is definitely the sort of the scent that's in the air when I step off of an aircraft in, I'd say probably in Spain or somewhere like that. So maybe not Egypt. So I think Egypt is a little bit misleading because it's not got that sort of smell about it, but it definitely does have some kind of sort of vacation smell. It's that sort of, that sweet scent, maybe there's some like citrusy lemon fields or bergamo fields off in the distance. And you know, like when you get off the airplane and like you're smelling that air just as you walk onto the sort of warm tarmac and stuff like that, it's got that kind of sort of smell about it. I mean, this one's a little bit fresher, it's a bit more of a barber scent, uh, sorry, barbershop scent. I mean, it's a, it is a very, very nice fragrance, definitely. I mean, this is definitely one that needs to be checked out. Now, I do apologize if you can hear any noise in the background. Um, at the moment, we are looking after my best friend's dog, so if you do hear any, uh, do hear any disruption, that's my wife playing with him in the lounge uh, while I was shooting my video. Um, but I mean, this is a beautiful scent, and I, I really did enjoy wearing this one. This is definitely the kind of scent that I would go for, and definitely is the kind of one that I, I, I would definitely buy. Now, when it came to the longevity, the longevity of this one was fantastic. I could still smell this as great uh, and as powerfully at the end of the day than I could right when I first put it on. I mean, I put it on and it was fairly strong. You could smell it, it's quite potent straight out the bottle when I was sort of dabbing it on. Um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't go too mad with it because it, like I say, it was quite strong and it, the strength of this one just kept going and going and going. One thing I really did like about this fragrance though was Throughout the day, all of a sudden, I sort of catch a whiff of it, and I think, wow, somebody around here smells fantastic. And then all of a sudden, I realized that was actually me. And I mean, that's that's the kind of scent that this one is. It is a beautiful, really sort of uh, quite potent scent, and like I say, the longevity is very, very, very good with it. Uh, projection is pretty strong as well. I'd say you're probably looking at around sort of two to three feet with this one, and that goes throughout the majority of the day. Um, I mean, I didn't train in the gym last night, but this one was still going very, very strong on me last night, despite um, I did sort of put it through its real paces like I would with other scents. But like I say, this was going a lot stronger towards the end of the day than a lot of the other scents that I've tried to do. So I mean, longevity and projection are both pretty good with that one. So I mean, that's Egypt by Eight and Bob. If you tried this one, I'd love to hear from you as well. Um, I'd love to hear your other recommendations for the Eight and Bob range because this is the, unfortunately, this is the only sample that I did pick up. There was a couple of other beautiful scents there I would like to try as well when I was in Osme Perfumery, which is where I got this one. So I mean, definitely, definitely check out Egypt if you haven't done, or if you haven't checked out the Eight and Bob collection, definitely check them out as well. And like I say, if you have tried them before, please let me know your recommendations. I'd love to hear from you. As usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'd, I'd love to hear, your thoughts on this uh, on this line and your recommendations, as I said. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. You can find me at Luxury Fragrance Boss. That way you can keep up to date with everything that I've got going on, my sense of the day and any upcoming videos, anything like that. Uh, I will be producing a video as well for us. I've had a few ladies actually contact me on Instagram and on uh, in my comments on YouTube, asking me to do my favorite perfumes. <clears throat> So I will be shooting that uh, this weekend as well as another top five. So look out for those. Um, in the meantime, those stay smelling fantastic. I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.